Hey, everybody. Hope you all are doing well, and welcome back to Michael's Matters. Now, as is the practice, I, of course, am Michael. Hi and hello. And right now, we are starting to see more and more candidates for next year's 2024 presidential race start to come out of the woodwork. One of the early startups, and probably currently the number two contender, uh, Ron DeSantis, uh, the current governor of Florida, is coming out swinging with a potential solution to help alleviate some of the financial issues with Social Security that really do end up affecting folks on all the different levels of Social Security programs. So whether that is Social Security Retirement, uh, Social Security Disability, SSDI, Supplemental Security, Security Income SSI, survivors, and really all the other iterations of Social Security. And his solution is to make the unpopular Social Security cuts, but to avoid the rancorous discourse and the gnashing of teeth that would come with uh, affecting benefits for folks who are at or near retirement right now. His solution is to make cuts, but to put them on the younger Americans, thinking millennials and Gen Zs, and hope that they forget about it in time by the time they actually have to retire. So today we are talking about presidential candidates' proposals to cut Social Security benefits, but to move them so far down the generational ladder uh, that hopefully they won't be noticed by folks who are busy <laughs> doing TikTok dances, which I'm doing right now, and trying to figure out uh, how to afford houses and you know start paying back on those student loans and <laughs> all that kind of stuff, uh, primarily millennials and Gen Z. Now, this is Michael's Matters, and before we get to it, if you like these videos, if you find them interesting, if you find them helpful, or hey, if you at least find them useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help the channel to grow and we are so thankful for that, but also because you get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Or now, let's get down to the video. So previously, uh, back in the day when now Governor Rand DeSantis was a member of the House as a younger congressperson, he had been an advocate of making cuts to Social Security programs to help maintain its longevity. Primarily back then, he had made the recommendation of privatizing Social Security and also raising the Social Security full retirement age to 70 years old, which would be a pretty significant increase from where it is right now, the full retirement age that is at 66 or 67 years old, depending on when you were born. These ideas to either privatize or to raise the Social Security retirement age are still really more prevalent now than even back then when DeSantis was a fresh-faced and bushy-tailed congressman. And in fact, last month, a group of Republican members of the House, the Republican Study Committee, which sounds like one of those groups that your wife's friend's husband, who doesn't curse, invites you to on Wednesday nights. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, but uh, the House had proposed to raise the retirement age to 70 years old for anybody who will be 50 years old within the next decade. Needless to say, as a potential presidential candidate and needing the votes of some of the most active voters on the face of the planet, that is older Americans, candidate DeSantis right now is still making the argument that he wants to reform Social Security, which it definitely does need. But this time, the burden of taking those necessary cuts, DeSantis intends to shift to younger Americans. Now, as a member of the Younger American group, at least for a couple more years, <laughs> I must say that I am thoroughly against this. On the Fox News program with host Howard Kurtz, he asked DeSantis about his previous proposals to raise the retirement age to 70 years old and about privatizing Social Security. DeSantis explains his new stance is first to not make any changes that would affect anybody who is 50 years old or older. Kind of a direct rejection of what his congressional Republican counterparts just put out. Although he fully dismissed the notion of privatizing Social Security by saying that the option is quote unquote totally not on the table, end quote, <laughs> totally. He also said that the promises made are also meant to be promises that are kept, implying that current seniors should not have to worry about any of their benefits changing because they were based on a promise by the U.S. government to pay out Social Security benefits when they got to retirement age. This one, I gotta agree with him on. <laughs> Those promises made, they should be kept. But the thing is that don't all these promises go to everybody in the country, not just one group or another? It just doesn't make sense or even really seem to be fair to try to shift that financial burden to younger folks who are already paying into Social Security program that will likely not be able to pay out the full benefits by any time that any of us ever get there, whichever age it happens to end up being. And to be sure, Ron DeSantis is not going to be around to make sure those promises made will be promises kept. Additionally, specifically, uh, Governor DeSantis said, quote, so when people say that we're going to somehow cut seniors, that's totally not true. Talking about making changes for people in their 30s and 40s so the program is viable. That's a much different thing, and that's something that I think there's going to need to be discussion on, end quote. 
So far, though, uh, this discussion seems to be a little one-sided from the DeSantis side. So to unpack this a little bit, let's talk about what are some of the things that DeSantis could do to make Social Security more, quote-unquote, viable uh, when it pertains to younger Americans. First and most likely is that he could raise the retirement age, which is a no-brainer, but he could move that start date for who gets to retire at later times down the line to younger individuals so that people who are in their prime working times of their life could overnight have the amount of time that they have to work before they can start claiming their Social Security benefits it could jump <laughs> instantaneously multiple years. If DeSantis did get elected and imposed a 70 or even 75 year old retirement age on younger Americans, I mean, <laughs> that's a considerable additional amount of time that we'd have to work just to get to the starting line of retirement. Although DeSantis was not specific about where the cuts or the increased retirement age would go, currently he is, just not for nothing, he is 44 years old. So presumably he would put that age maybe on folks who are 43 right now and below. So needless to say, these things, of course, are starting off as campaign promises and even kind of like a little weather balloons they're putting out there to see how they play with the electorate. Additionally, for Ron DeSantis specifically, these are kind of ways for him to wiggle out his previous contentions to put cuts into Social Security for seniors. But since it is, you know, <laughs> politically distasteful, the governor is betting it'll be more unnoticeable if it goes to the younger electorate. The thing is, though, that Governor DeSantis, you know, he's not the only Republican candidate who is talking about ways to make cuts to Social Security benefits. Because earlier this month, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie had also put out his political feelers out there for what the appetite to voters would be uh, for his brand of Social Security cut. And originally, uh, the Governor Christie's proposal involves raising the retirement age, which is blasé at this point. But also, kind of intriguingly, uh, Christie had mentioned that he would like to put means testing in place for folks to be eligible to claim Social Security benefits. On CNBC Squawk Box, former Governor Chris Christie said, quote, we have to look at things like means testing for the very wealthy who don't need to get Social Security. And secondarily, for people in their 30s and 40s, we need to consider, you know, raising the retirement age, end quote. So it seems like DeSantis and Christie, uh, they may be kind of reading from the same playbook. Given Mr. Christie's age at 60, it is no wonder that he would rather push Social Security cuts via a lift in retirement age down to folks in their 30s and 40s than folks who are close to or nearabouts or on or around <laughs> retirement age like he is. Overall, both former Governor Christie and current Governor DeSantis uh, are looking for ways to distinguish themselves from each other, which arguably they are not doing a great job of, but also and infinitely more important to distance themselves from the current frontrunner of the Republican Party, the former President Donald Trump, who himself has vowed to not touch Social Security, which is probably the wisest of three talking points, even if he does get elected and does make changes farther down the road. The issue for Governor Christie and Governor DeSantis is that Social Security is one of the most prolific and most popular programs in the history of the United States. And realistically, why wouldn't it be? It's a program that gives money away to people. Attacking a system like that is uh, bound to attract the hatred and the ire of those folks on the program right now. That's around 68 million Americans. And also not to mention the fact that a large percentage of them rely on Social Security benefits for 50% or more of their own financial monthly support. But it's also important to mention that it is failing and it will likely, according to the most recent Social Security Trust Fund report, be unable to maintain the Social Security benefits at 100% for eligible Americans by as soon as 20 so undoubtedly something has to get done and really the only question for candidates is who could they take benefits away and which generation are those folks a part of and <laughs> still get elected all right so that's it for michael's matters and i really hope that you enjoyed this video or at least found it interesting or helpful or maybe even useful and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help the channel grow and again we are so so thankful for that but also because you get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. So, for Michael's Matters, I'm Michael, hoping that you take care of yourselves, take care of others, and have a happy, healthy,